Good morning, my toes. It is Jonathan, aka the Toe Bro, and I'm still going with the videos. I actually came to the office a little early today, but I still have some time before the first patient. And I thought for today's video, uh, we're, I'm gonna do something that I've always wanted to do. Just going to my local pharmacy, where you know, chain pharmacy that has everything there, and I want to go through the foot section. Every time I go to, let's just say, I'll use Walmart for example, huge foot section all these different tools and I'm always curious what people are buying do they know how to use it do they know actually what happens when they use this is it safe to use does it actually work so I'm gonna jump over to the pharmacy we're gonna go through the foot section and see what's there and I'm gonna give you a little bit of info about what's good what's bad what you should do what you shouldn't and um, and just give you a quick little review of everyday over-the-counter foot products that you guys do have access to and just give you a little bit of guidance So here we are in the mecca of foot care products. We got this whole row here, looks like more insoles, and then actual products over here. Okay, there is, it's overwhelming to see how many things are here. So since we've been talking about corns and callus, let's pull out what we can buy here to treat our corns and callus. So number one, we have this nice electric rotary uh, foot file. This is nice because it is electric, so not as much stress on the hand, and it has a nice grit. So this is something that you definitely can use on the feet to kind of file down or smooth out the hard skin. Uh, the problem with it, as you can see, it's a wide piece, so it doesn't really concentrate on one certain area. It can take just the circle that might be having hard skin and the normal skin around. That's why it can be a little bit dangerous. We have refills there, but again, for general, hard skin let's say on the heel the ball of the foot that's wide you can definitely use something like this they have one that's for wet and dry and as you can see the grit is very different anything that's more like sandpaper has to be used when the skin's dry look at that that's pretty cool they have one for the nails as well kind of like what i have but mine's a little bit more hardcore we have this one here we'll put this here the next thing we have is a rasp callus file so issue with this one this one has little holes that pull skin so again this this can be really effective but it can be quite dangerous because it can pull normal hard skin as well because the paddle is so big it takes up a lot of room it doesn't just treat one small area on the foot it's really hard to be precisely treating one piece of hard skin so that's why the larger the piece the more area you can pull that's why a lot of comments yesterday were saying oh you use such a small scalpel um, but it gives me a lot more control and precision we have a pumice stone so this thing has little holes so it's able to pull the dead skin um, both of these this one and this one can be used when the skin is wet um, but if something's really dry uh, or what's better to use when the skin's dry is something that has more sandpaper so again here's some basic tools here and the last one that i see here is the actual blade for corn and callus remover. The problem with the blade, it's very sharp and obviously very dangerous. If you don't have the right precision or control, you can cut normal skin really easily. These three can be quite dangerous because it's very easy to pull more skin than, want, than, you, than you want. While this one, because it doesn't have any teeth or holes, it just smooths it down really thin. So again, you can still take too much skin, but it's a lot harder with this. To me, having a foot pile is much safer. Again here another kind of file so again safety wise something that's more of a sandpaper or file is better this teeth or grit anything that has holes the blade can pull more skin but again it's much more dangerous 
So these are kind of some options. It all really depends on how much flexibility you have. If you can reach your feet or you have help, someone who has a little bit more control or better vision can use these tools safely. But again, all these are what mostly people get. I always suggest going safe and just doing it more often. But if you do have the control, then you can use something a little bit more aggressive. As you could see, all those tools were for calluses, even though they say corns and callus. But as we know, corns go, corns go into the body. So we need something to scoop it out. And there's nothing really here that can really scoop out uh, corns. And that's why they're so tricky. What we do have is corn removals. So we have this one here. We have Dr. Scholl's different style that's all like band-aids. And all a corn pad really is, is just salicylic acid concentrated in a, in a medicated pad to soften the corn. The corn pads, they just have salicylic acid to soften the skin. It eats away the skin, turning it white. It makes it easier to pull out. Problem with corn pads, sometimes if they're left on for too long or someone has thin skin or circulatory problems, that can actually burn and eat too much of the skin and create an actual wound. So again, you can use these, but if they're only just softening the skin, you still need something to actually remove the hard skin from the area. So this section here, which we're gonna talk about later on, all about warts. So I'm definitely doing a video on warts, and when uh, I get to that part, I'll come back to this and we'll go through all this treatment. So the ingredients of all of these wart treatments is the exact same as the corn. It's just salicylic acid. It's trying to damage the skin, soften the skin, damage it, so then the skin can be removed. 17% salicylic acid. So again, corns and warts are treated basically in the much, pretty much treated the same over the counter. You just soften the skin, remove as much as you can, and hopefully you destroy or remove the corn that's there or the wart. So that's all there really is here for corns, is using this acid pad, but you need to have someone dig out the corn. That's why seeing a foot specialist is quite important. So we also have some, some callus removers and it's all salicylic acid. These callus cushioning pads, they're very, very thin. So yes, they give you some padding, but they really don't take too much pressure off. The goal with corns and calluses, as you guys learn, is to remove the pressure. So the goal of these pads with a circle is to offload the issue. If we just cushion the area overall, and here sometimes we have some moleskin padding, but to me, gel, gel material, gel material is the best. So here we have pads for the ball of the foot, the heel, the back of the shoe. We have pads to cushion the toe. And all these are doing is trying to remove the pressure. If we can remove the pressure, we're gonna remove the hard skin that builds up. We have the gel inserts that are thinner, some are a little bit thicker, some are for women's dress shoes. The whole goal is to have more padding in your shoe to reduce the pressure. That's what's really gonna slow down the amount of hard skin buildup. So again, for corns and calluses, we really have scrapers, scrapers, files, pumice stones, emery boards, electric files, and they're just trying to remove as much of the dead skin as you can. The biggest problem with treating corns and calluses yourself is safely removing as much hard skin as possible. That's why sandpaper is the safest because you can just file, file down and there's nothing cutting into your skin. If you are using something that has teeth or a blade, you have to be very, very careful. Calluses, we just shave down and cushion the area. Corns, we have to shave the callus on top, but digging them out is very, very hard, and that's where seeing a foot, foot specialist is really important. The last important thing to discuss is cream. Here we have different types of cream, okay? What cream really does, it softens the skin, giving it more elasticity. The more elastic the skin is, the more it can stretch and it doesn't crack or split on pressure. So what we're looking for is cream versus lotion. Cream has more oil um, component of it and that allows for better re retention of moisture versus lotion which is more watery. So to me, any sort of cream is gonna help. Here's one, and this one has urea. Let's see this one, this one, urea. 
what urea does it allows skin to absorb more water making it softer that way the hard the, the softened skin is easier to remove it's not as painful because it's softer and that's basically all urea does so if you have extremely dry skin look for something that says urea here's another one urea 25 percent so the more urea you have, the softer it's going to allow your skin. So it's going to have more potential to, to break up and soften hardened callus. Then you can use a file or a rasp or whatever you have at home that you can safely use to pull away the dead skin. So that's basically all we have for corns and calluses in a pharmacy. We have files, we have rasps, we have blades to remove as much of the bulk of the dead skin as we can. We have corn pads to soften the corn so it's not as painful, but nothing really to dig them out. And then at last we have cream that has sometimes has urea to soften the skin, make it more flexible so it doesn't split or build up and become very hard and painful. And the last thing is we have gel pads to, soft, to cushion the ball of the foot, the gel insole to cushion the heel, or the whole foot in general. Then we have also little spacers, gel spacers for the tops of the toes or the side of the toes that always bang up against the shoes. The last thing that's not here is footwear. If you change your footwear that's wider, uh, softer, um, deeper, that's gonna give us, again, reduction of pressure and less hard skin. So that's basically how you guys can treat corns and calluses yourself in a pharmacy.